Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I am super excited because I get to be with my friend Kat. How you doing, Kat? Hi, Matthew. Doing great. Great. Thank you so much for coming this morning and um, having a little chat with me. Yeah, my pleasure. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'm glad you're I don't either. Here. No, 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 I do actually. I, I have a, th a thought in my head there. Um, I love what you do. I mean, obviously, I've even uh, hired you for a couple of projects um, on a continual project. It, for someone that doesn't know who Kat Johnson is, what do you do? If someone says like, hey, what do you do, Kat? What do you say? Kind of my networking thing is I'm a writer and content strategist, mm -hmm. but increasingly I've been thinking of and talking about myself as a storyteller because that's really where my passion is and where I think my strength lies and kind of drawing out the stories of people and companies and organizations. So how do you like, how does it actually happen? How do you actually tell that story? Is it through like, through blog posts? Is it through, you know, um, on a website creation? And what, what is that? How does that story get out in the world? How do you help that? Uh, the, in large part, blog posts. That's, okay. that's kind of my specialty. I'm a writer. I'm a longtime writer. So that's my go-to. I can advise people on what kind of content they should be putting on videos and podcasts and things like that. But my expertise is in writing. Okay. So let's talk about that. Let's. Um, you've been a writer for quite a no, quite a few years. How did you? become a writer like what was like as a kid what did you write a lot um in high school yeah. I mean, like well, how does that happen i think to be honest i think i always have had kind of a fantasy of being a writer like <laughs> locked in the room being a novelist or something like even when i was a kid yeah. i would practice writing little stories and drawing comic books and things like that um i was working at streetlight records yeah. where i spent many many years and i started doing a little freelance music writing on the side and loved it immediately. I was amazed when I got my first check for writing about music. I'm like, I got this paid is a for thing? this. this yeah. is, I have a picture of me like, ah. how long ago was that? That was in 2009. Okay. So I've been doing this for a while. And then I fell into writing about the sharing economy and community projects and nonprofits and things like that. From that, I found co working. And when I discovered co-working my whole world just totally opened up and now um, the vast majority of what I do is helping co-working spaces and communities get their stories out nice so what it, what attracted you to co-working what is it what what is the interesting like I mean there must be something you got to like that is super cool I love this why it's such a huge question at, yeah. a, at a bird's eye level um, community is really important to mm -hmm. me authentic connections with people um, on a very practical level, when I joined Next Space, our co-working space, my career blossomed. It accelerated. My network expanded immediately. Like within the first week, I had jobs and gigs and connections. And I feel like part of my mission is helping space operators get their stories out so that they can attract people who were like me where I had my job and it was a lot of fun, but I felt like I wasn't tapped into my whole potential. I wasn't like bringing everything I could to it where running my own business, you have to bring yeah. like all the aspects of yourself and all your strengths and work on your weaknesses and things like that. And so co-working really gave me that. So I'm hoping to that by helping spaces get the word out, they can then support people to kind of, it's like a self-realization thing or fulfilling yeah. your potential. Nice. So what is the, what's it like a day in the life of Cat? Like, I mean, how do you, cause you said, I mean, it's like, basically said, you have to, I mean, it's like, you don't have somebody over you telling you, like, yeah, it's time it to do this. Yeah, it looks a lot like this. Yeah, it does, yeah. I spend a lot of hours at the computer. <laughs> um, do you like, do you like manage though? Like, okay, so between this time and this time, I write about this and then, you know, I, I work on this and I mean, you have to get clients. I mean, there's so many things that a oh, freelancer has to do. There's so much. And yeah. every day is do you feel totally it's fluid? different. Yeah. I have, I have a, um, a loose routine like in the morning I do some admin stuff I maybe turn in things if I have a deadline that day at home and then by 9 or 10 I'm usually in the co-working space and a, a day could involve usually involves phone interviews video meetings lots of writing lots of uh, I feel like I spend a third of my time doing like organizational stuff. Who do I need to get in touch yeah. with? How, what's this gonna be? What are the pitches for this? 
person, how, you know, just doing all those admin type things. Um, I talk to a lot of people like this, the past couple of weeks, I've probably done like 10 or 12 interviews, okay. usually on the phone, some in person. Yeah. So it involves a lot. It's like a high touch thing where I'm dealing with a lot of people all the time, but that's also where I get the energy back. Like, yeah. Because they have fortunate. passion about something yeah. and it kind of rubs off on you. And I, I'm so yeah. stoked that my job is connecting with people who are doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting stoked yeah. and helping them be stoked. And um, even when it's tiring or exhausting, I'm still really, really happy to be yeah. doing what I'm doing. Exactly. Well, I mean, that kind of like goes right into the next question. Like when you wake up in the morning, what excites you? Like, is there something like... I cannot wait to do this. Like, what's like the big that like, keeps Cat Johnson going? Kind of. Can you think of that? That might be a tough question. It out is. Of the blue. It's a yeah. super tough question, yeah. and I ask myself all the time. I actually was thinking about this the other day. I was doing some like big picture strategy stuff, and you know, you're encouraged to have three year goals and five year goals and things like that. And I feel like the older I get, the more simple my pleasures are. It's like, I want free time. I want to see my family more. I want yeah. to travel more. I want, uh, you know, just, I want an afternoon reading and to things like that. Yeah, yeah. Just like, <laughs> yeah. just like having real, I want real connections with real people. Like mm -hmm. that's what, that's what really stokes me. Um, and that probably affects though, having those connections, having those real simple things in life does affect your, your professional life though. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. yeah. And, I think a lesson I've really learned this year is like the the idea is not to work really hard for a long time doing stuff you don't like in the hopes of at some point being happy. It's like you got to figure out ways right now to be, to yeah. be happy. It's like if yeah. you're happy with connect by connecting with friends, connect with friends today. If you're happy with time walking on West Cliff, do that <laughs> today. Like that that's been hammered home in a huge way recently of like the goals are fine and cool, and I definitely have some goals, like more travel for Sean and I and things like that. But um, in large part, it's like I just want every day to be tuned in and connected yeah. and stoked and feel peaceful and grateful. Great. Yeah. Okay, so if, if people want to connect with you and find out more about how they can hire you to tell their story, where should they go? What's the best place? The best place is my website, catjohnson.co. It's cat with a C. And you can find me on Twitter. My handle's at Cat Johnson. And those, those are probably the two best ways. Great. Well, you know what I think we should do right now? We should go take a walk on Westcliff. I know. Right <laughs> here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>